Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Brichettes. Grilled skewers of meat, commonly beef, chicken, or goat, seasoned with spices and served with onions and chili peppers. Brichettes are a popular and delicious street food found in many African countries, including Congo Brazzaville. They are skewers of grilled meat, often seasoned with a variety of spices and served as a tasty and convenient handheld snack. Here's more information about brochettes. Meat selection. Brochettes can be made with various types of meat, including beef, chicken, goat, and sometimes pork or fish. The choice of meat may vary based on local preferences and availability. Seasoning. Before grilling, the meat is typically marinated in a flavorful blend of herbs, spices, and sometimes sauces to enhance its taste. Common seasonings include garlic, ginger, black pepper, paprika, and local spices. Grilling process. The marinated meat is then threaded onto skewers, either made of metal or wooden sticks. The skewers are grilled over an open flame, charcoal, or a barbecue, allowing the meat to cook and develop a smoky and charred flavor. Serving. Brichettes are often served hot and can be enjoyed as a standalone street food snack or as part of a larger meal. They are commonly served with condiments such as spicy sauces, peanut sauce, or a squeeze of lemon or lime for added zest. Accompaniments. Brichettes are versatile and can be served with various side dishes, such as rice, plantains, cassava, or yams, depending on the region and local customs. Variations. Brichettes can be prepared in different ways, depending on regional and cultural influences. Different regions may have their own unique marinades, seasonings, or ingredients used in the skewers, making each variation distinct and delightful. Brichettes are a beloved street food in Congo Brazzaville and many other African countries. Their combination of grilled meat and flavorful seasonings make them a delicious and satisfying snack or meal enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. They are a representation of the rich culinary heritage and the appreciation for simple yet delightful flavors in the region. Fufu. A starchy dish made from pounded cassava or plantains, served with various soups or stews. Fufu is a starchy side dish or staple food that is commonly eaten in various countries across Africa, including Congo Brazzaville. It is made from starchy ingredients like cassava, plantains, yams, or cocoa yams, which are boiled, pounded, and shaped into a smooth and stretchy dough-like consistency. Fufu is typically served with various soups, stews, or sauces, and it is an essential part of many African cuisines. Here's more information about fufu. Ingredients. The primary ingredient used to make fufu can vary depending on regional preferences and availability. Commonly used starchy ingredients include cassava, which is the most widely used, as well as plantains, yams, or cocoa yams. Preparation. To prepare fufu, the starchy ingredient is first peeled and boiled until it becomes soft and cooked through. It is then pounded using a mortar and pestle or processed in a food processor until it forms a smooth, stretchy, and elastic dough. Pounding. Traditional pounding of fufu is a labor-intensive process that requires skill and strength. The pounding helps to break down the starchy fibers and create a cohesive and elastic texture. Shaping. Once the fufu reaches the desired consistency, it is shaped into round or elongated balls, depending on the regional tradition. Serving. Fufu is typically served hot and accompanied by a variety of soups or stews. It is often enjoyed by tearing off a small portion of fufu, forming it into a small ball, and using it to scoop up and soak in the flavorful chikwing a traditional dish made from fermented maize, corn, and palm nut oil. This culinary practice is likely to be specific to a particular region or culture, and as such, it might not be widely known outside of that community. Fermented maize is a common food preparation technique in many cultures, and it can result in various dishes and beverages with unique flavors and textures. Palm nut oil is derived from the fruit of the oil palm tree and is widely used in African cuisine for cooking and flavoring dishes. If you have any specific questions about the preparation or cultural significance of chikwing, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to provide more information. However, it's important to note that traditional dishes can have variations and nuances, so the exact recipe or preparation method might differ depending on the region or family making it. Sausage Sandwich Grilled sausages served in a baguette or bread roll with condiments like mustard and ketchup. A sausage sandwich is a popular and delicious culinary creation that typically consists of cooked sausages served between two slices of bread or in a bread roll. 
The sausages used can vary based on regional preferences and personal taste, but common types include pork sausages, beef sausages, chicken sausages, or vegetarian, vegan alternatives. The sandwich can be enjoyed in a variety of ways, with different condiments and toppings adding flavor and texture. Some popular additions to a sausage sandwich include sauces, mustard, ketchup, barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, hot sauce, or relish, vegetables, sliced onions, sautéed mushrooms, bell peppers, or pickles, cheese, melted cheese like cheddar, Swiss, or provolone can be a tasty addition, greens, lettuce, spinach, or arugula can add freshness and a slight crunch. The bread used for the sandwich can also vary, with options like sliced bread, baguettes, hoagie rolls, ciabatta, or hot dog buns. The choice of bread can significantly influence the overall taste and texture of the sandwich. Sausage sandwiches are enjoyed in different parts of the world, with regional variations in ingredients and preparation methods. They are commonly served as a quick and satisfying meal, whether at breakfast, lunch, or as a snack. As with any sandwich, the choice of ingredients and condiments can be adapted to suit individual preferences and dietary restrictions. Whether you prefer a classic sausage and mustard sandwich or an elaborate creation with various toppings, a well-made sausage sandwich is sure to be a crowd-pleaser. Makemba. Deep-fried plantains, typically served as a snack or dessert. Makemba. Sounds like a delicious dish made from deep-fried plantains, commonly served as a snack or dessert. Plantains are starchy bananas that are less sweet than regular bananas and are commonly used in various culinary preparations. To make makemba, ripe plantains are typically sliced and deep-fried until they become golden and crispy on the outside while retaining their tender texture inside. The deep-frying process caramelizes the natural sugars in the plantains, enhancing their sweetness and creating a delightful contrast between the crispy exterior and soft interior. Makemba is enjoyed in many parts of the world, especially in regions where plantains are a staple food. Depending on the local culinary traditions, it may be served as a standalone snack or dessert, or it can be accompanied by various accompaniments or toppings like powdered sugar, cinnamon, or sweet sauces. The dish can be found under different names and variations in various cuisines, reflecting the diverse and rich culinary heritage of the regions where plantains are commonly grown and consumed. If you have the opportunity to try makemba, I hope you enjoy this delightful treat. Poulet Moambe. Chicken cooked in a rich and flavorful palm nut sauce, served with rice or fufu. Poulet Moambe, also known as, Chicken Moambe, or, Moambe Chicken, is a traditional and popular dish in Central and West African cuisine. It is considered a national dish in the Republic of the Congo and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where it holds cultural and historical significance. The dish is characterized by a unique and flavorful sauce made from Moambe which is the pulp of the African oil palm fruit. The moambe is cooked with a variety of ingredients, typically including chicken, or sometimes fish or other meats, vegetables, and spices, resulting in a rich and hearty stew. To prepare poulet moambe, the moambe pulp is often combined with ingredients such as tomatoes, onions, garlic, chili peppers, and other local spices. The chicken is then cooked in this sauce until it becomes tender and infused with the flavorful mixture. The dish is usually served with a starchy accompaniment like rice, fufu, a staple food made from starchy vegetables, or plantains, which helps balance the richness of the sauce. Poulet moambe is not only a delicious and comforting meal but also holds cultural significance in the regions where it is prepared. It is often served on special occasions, family gatherings, and celebrations, making it a cherished part of the culinary heritage of Central and West Africa. If you have the opportunity to taste poulet moambe, it offers a delightful exploration of the diverse and vibrant flavors that African cuisine has to offer.